Welcome to The Harvest is Ready. Today we will explore how to display chords on a stage view, but not to the congregation using OpenRP. This is Stephen from The Harvest is Ready. Our goal is to empower the body of Christ to be equipped to preach the gospel to be encouraged, to worship God more, and even help improve your media at your church as well using open source technology. So whatever your desire is, I'm sure we have a stream that is just perfect for you. Recently, I had a comment from what, on one of my videos saying, hey, can you do a video on how to display guitar chords on a stage view? And I had a look around and OpenRP is working on that, but it's in the current alpha release version three, I think it is. I think it's an alpha. And they said they'll have that up and running in the next release. But how do we get it implemented in the current version? I did some research. There were some websites around that I didn't have much success getting it working, but I figured out a bit of a workaround to do this. Now it's not perfect, but it seems to be working quite well. So let's have a look at what we need to do. Are you ready? So the first thing we need to do is to open OpenRP. So let's open that now. Here we go. It's opening. So what we're going to use in OpenRP is a new is a nice feature that they've introduced to help with formatting of your main display. And it's we find it here formatting tags. Formatting tags, if you haven't used them, help you to modify the display so you can change the color, change the size, and everything like that accordingly. So anyway, we're going to add a new tag. We're going to call it chords, chord tag. Okay, that's just the description. You can put whatever you like there. The tag, we're going to label it C to make it nice and easily. And we're going to go to our little text file here, which has a little cheat sheet. Oh, let's go back to that again. Okay, and we're going to input this little bit of HTML here. Can you see it there? So what it basically does, it changes the visibility to collapse. So whatever this minimum size, it's going to do that. And we're going to take to the display to none. So it's going to effectively remove it from the main screen. Now this does not um, apply to the stage view. This, it, it only works, these tags only really work in the main display that you're doing, but we need, we don't want to display these ones in the main view, right? So we want to hide them from the from the general user, from the from the congregation. So this is what this does. It makes it so that the chords can be separated out and removed from the main screen. So we've done that, so we can save it. So let's see how we use that particular customer tag. So we're going to create a new song, and it's going to be called Waymaker. I'm sure you've heard of it. Oh, Waymaker. Oh, Maker. Okay. I'm just going to use, uh, I'm just doing this for making it quick, so I'm just doing this. Um, author, you, you should put the correct ones in there accordingly for your particular thing, and of course the CCLI license number. So we're going to add a verse. So again, I've got in my text editor, I've got some Waymarker samples, so we're going to add the introduction. Okay, copy. So this is the introduction. Now, we don't want this to be displayed to the user, so we're going to use our formatting tag. So we're going to put it in here. So we're going to, then we can highlight the text we want. And we want to use the chord tag, and then it puts it there and there. I'm going to just drop it down one line, so it can easily see the opening, closing. Okay, so that's done. So we've done that one. We're going to add a verse, because, oh, cancel, I'm going to edit that one. Because I don't want it to be verse 1, I want it to be intro. Okay, there we go, intro. Then we're going to add a verse. And we're going to go back to our here. So we've got this, I'm just going to do it from this area here. And we're going to copy. We're going to paste it in here. And it, when we look at it here, it looks nicely formatted. So we're just going to put the tags in. Do you remember what they were? It was just open squiggly bracket, close squiggly bracket. And then we're going to put it over here. And this is important because if we put it at the end of the line here, there's a 
we can see there's a new line here and OpenRP automatically it puts a break for every new line so if we put it here it would have a gap between our words and we don't want that so we put it at the beginning of each line our tag okay so we're going to do that again so we're going to I'm just going to copy that and put it put it there oh control V and I'm going to put it there control V but add the closing tag control oh, yep control V make sure it's right at the end control V and closing tag uh, control V oh we're gonna put it all I'm gonna remove the space uh, con control V and yep okay and closing tag so you're gonna make sure this uh, the ending tags there so that's it there let's see how that works so let's add Waymaker to our service and display the first slide and there we go the text intro is not displayed let's look at the verse great so we can see that the theme honors the new tag that we put into the into place so let's check the stage view out so let's let's open up chrome do you, oh first of all do you remember how to look at locate it remember it's got to be in the remotes and we use the stage view here and we copy the link location okay and we're open chrome and we're going to paste and go great uh oh do you see the problem we see here that the tags the the chords are there but it's removed all the spaces so what we need to do is we need to create a new custom stage view so that it honors the spacing that we put in place into our original file so let's do that now so what we need to do is we need to go to our program files and here we've got it in here in the site packages this is in the linux but under your program application directory under program files um you better find this folder openrp plugins remotes html and you'll find these two files we just want two of them we want the html and the cask and the, and the stage ss that are highlighted here so we want to copy those and we want to now go back to openrp so let's find openrp and we want to go to our data folder we want to create a folder called stages if it's not already done and inside stages we want to create a new folder called chords okay this will be our directory that we're going to put our custom stage view into so we'll create that now put the files in that we did there and we're going to open these up in a text editor so we're going to open up in a text editor and it will come up in the one that we've just done okay so in the stage view in the CSS we need to make a couple of changes we want to change the font and we want to make sure that um, that the white space is on oh no, so we're going to accept the pre-formatting so this is the two settings here I found a font called Fera code medium and that's from Google and you can see it here I'll put the description um, and the links in the description below along with this core tag as well so you won't have you won't have to type it out or pause the video so it'll be all good there for you so what we're going to do is we're going to co copy this B go to the stage CSS we don't need the font family so we're going to overwrite that and we're going to paste over that we're just going to make it tidy here so I'm just going to put some spaces in there so there we go so we've got the font family so we're going to use that font and it's going to and we're going to fall back onto our mono space if we need to white space is going to be pre-formatted so whatever if we put a space it's going to display a space so that's all good so we can save that we need to update our stage html so we'll do that and we need to do here if you've done the trans you'll see what i've done before i've done this before in the transparent one and the um, green screen one so st uh, stages need to build the s and we need to put chords okay stage css and that will point it to the right file so we save that we can take that out of the way and we can take that out of the way and we can go back to our stage view and check to see what's happened to do the custom one you just simply tag on the custom folder that you put on there which is chords and i've done that already so i just enter and there we go we've got the formatting is all done let's, let's just double check something let's go to open rp let's go to the intro go back 
and there we go we can see the intro tag coming up we can see all the chords on the stage view so there we have it it's not too difficult i hope you followed that well i've got the description down below so you can follow that along if you like what you see you know go along to my facebook page and like that as well and follow that along you can find out when these videos come out directly from there and you'll get some other other tips and pieces contact with other people that are of similar mind um also you can subscribe to this channel like comment and subscribe if you've got any questions you know simply ask me a comment pass me drop me a line and i i will certainly um see what i can do to help okay it was fun doing this video and as usual be empowered by god and until next time god bless